In the sprawling wilderness of Tanzania's Maasai Mara, there existed a lion whose name would become synonymous with power, resilience, and dominance, Notch. Aptly named for the distinctive notches adorning his ears, Notch's tale is one of legendary proportions chronicling his ascent to the apex of the Lion Kingdom along with his formidable coalition of sons who together formed one of the most iconic and fearsome prides in the animal kingdom. King Notch, a mighty king who was kicked out of his pride but did not give up, raised his five sons who turned out to be the heavyweights of Masai Mara. Notch himself was a big boy, estimated at about 235 kilos. Then together, they became an unstoppable force, conquering prides one after the other. It was assumed that he was the best father in Lion Kingdom. This is the story of Notch and his five sons. Together, they created the most successful and amazing lion coalition in Masai Mara, the Notches. From trials and tribulations, Notch overcomes challenges and rises back up to become king. He loses his brother in a fight and facing overwhelming odds of three to one, he decides to save his sons and lives to fight another day. People think Notch is dead for two years until her returns, having raised his five sons alone from cubs to now powerful males, now he has his army. He returns back home and this time his sights are not just for one pride but all, he conquers 12 prides out of the 22 in the Maasai Mara. He gathers millions of followers all over the world and he stared in several movies as well. Researchers call him the most impressive lion they have even seen. The most successful bloodline of a male lion. The birth of Notch year 2000. Not much is known of the birth and origin of Notch and Blonde, but it is said that he must have come from the Ridge Pride in the Maasai Mara. Notch, also known as Kali, was born in the late 1990s, around 1999 or 2000, in the Maasai Mara. He would go on to form a coalition with another young lion called Light Male. By 2004, the duo's confidence had grown to the point where they dared to challenge the renowned Marsh Pride Lions made famous by the BBC's Big Cat Diaries TV show. Notch and Light Male's daring confrontation resulted in a victorious upheaval driving out the previous leaders, Simba and Blondie, and establishing themselves as the new Pride rulers. In 2004, Notch and Blonde conquer the Marsh Pride. The Marsh Pride is the most successful pride in the Maasai Mara, having over 20 lions in total, it is in itself a super pride. From the year 2003, the Marsh Pride was led by two male lions known as Simba and Scar. Six months after Scar was killed, the two young male lions challenged Simba. The two brothers were fiercer and stronger than Simba and defeated him easily after a brief fight. Simba was forced to run and save his life. He was never to be seen again. The two lions were named Notch and Blonde by BBC's Big Cat Diary. They then moved on to conquer the Marsh Pride after making the Pride Queen Bibi Ben to their will. In 2007, the three lions challenge again, this time Notch was exhausted, he tried his best to fight even being outnumbered and he surrenders the Marsh Pride and escaped with his sons to the Serengeti Game Reserve. People assume that Notch and his boys are dead as they have not been seen in the Mara for two years. Photographers and researchers did not know where he went and all said he probably died as life for a single male without a pride is hard, especially one that is taking care of young adolescents' lions. Meanwhile in Serengeti, tourists take photos of what appears to be Notch and his young boys. Unknown to them who the lions are, Notch and his boys appear to be flourishing. It is later said that Notch had taken time off to prepare his army of lions. Notch reappears in the Maasai Mara for the first time after two years. He is first seen crossing the Mara River, leading five of his sons who are now have grown as large as him. Together they used an imaginable force as they stepped the Maasai Mara again. It seems that this was Notch's plan all along to make his army and return home. His plan being simple, conquer all. Notch rallies his sons to conquer 10 out of the 22 prides in the Maasai Mara. During their peak, the Notch coalition ruled over several prides, including Magoro Pride, Rikero Pride, Paradise Pride, Maji Yufaisai Pride, Hammer Cop Main Pride, Hammer Cop Breakaway Pride, and Rongai Pride. In 
the Lion Kingdom, territorial disputes are commonplace and the victors often eliminate the cubs of the defeated. This was true for Notch and Light Male, who, following their conquest of the Marsh Pride, took control of the lionesses and eliminated the existing cubs. Ah, yes, yes, yes. In mid-2005, the Marsh Pride's territory was threatened by other rival lions, and it was during this time that Light Male lost his life while defending their domain. Many believed this would spell the end for Notch. Against all odds, Notch managed to hold onto his territory by keeping a low profile, staying close to the lionesses, and adopting a more cautious approach. Notch's resilience in the face of adversity was nothing short of remarkable. However, what followed was nothing short of extraordinary. Notch joined his five subadult male cubs who had barely escaped with their lives during their father's ousting. These young lions were now nomads in the wild and Notch took it upon himself to guide, protect, and nurture them into adulthood. In late 2012, after Notch and his sons take over Hammer Cop Prides, Long segregates himself from his father and his brother after picking up an injury during the fight with one of the Hammer Cop males. Notch is devastated after numerous unanswered calls to his favorite son. Long didn't return and nobody know what happened to him. Notch moves on and leads his sons to take over the Rolni Pride. Notch is 13 years and well past his prime, and after the loss of his largest and favorite son, Notch is never the same again. He is quiet and rarely roars along with his sons. His sons start challenging him for mating rights and they end up ganging against him and giving him a beat down. Notch and his five sons formed a coalition that would go on to become one of the most dominant and feared lion prides ever witnessed in the Maasai Mara. Their reign, which began around 2008, was marked by an iron grip over the region expanding to cover more than 1,000 square kilometers. Their hunting prowess was well documented and highlighted in the Disney film African Cats released in 2010. The film illustrated their remarkable hunting skills with some particularly intense scenes showcasing the power and cunning of the Notch Coalition. A reign of terror and carnage. With Notch and his son's dominance came a reign of terror and dominance in the Maasai Mara. Their control extended far and wide with their intimidating presence deterring other lion coalitions and predators in their path. The Notch coalition was responsible for the deaths of numerous lions during their nearly decade-long reign. While the exact number remains unknown, it is believed to be in the dozens. Following Notch's demise, Grimace also met his fate in enemy territory. The coalition was now reduced to half, but it retained its formidable reputation. Ron met his end at the hands of the Sand River males in 2016. Caesar, too, fell in 2017 after developing a limp in his hind legs. Notch, too, was the last surviving member but chose to depart quietly without putting up much resistance. In a surprising twist, Notch 2 reappeared later, this time with his son, Spear Boy. The father and son duo formed the Lookout Pride and remained together for over a year. This partnership was a nod to history as Notch 2, much like his father, understood that teaming up with his upcoming son increased their chances of survival. Notch leaves and never returns. Notch walks off alone and returns to the Hammercop territory maybe in search for Long. Notch also disappears and is never seen again. 
Rumors have it that he died from old age, maybe an infection as he had manged that weakens a lion's immune system or that the three remaining hammer cop boys, Notch defeated, found him alone and killed him as a revenge of their brother who Notch killed. Although their father is gone and their brothers are missing, the Notch boys continue to conquer the Mara, expanding their estate, conquering prides and fathering many cubs. With them, Notch's blood flows all across the Mara and as a result, Notch becomes the Lion King of the Mara. As with any tale of dominance, the Notch coalition faced challenges. The sheer expanse of their territory meant they had to stretch their resources thin, leading to the disappearance of Mighty Long in 2010, likely due to confrontations with other male lions. Meanwhile, Notch, despite his advanced age, continued to protect his sons, demonstrating incredible strength and tenacity. Notch's longevity was exceptional and he maintained his alpha status until his eventual passing in 2013 at the age of more than 14 years. He had split from his sons during the final years of his life but remained close to provide them with food and security. His defiant and proud demeanor remained undiminished despite his emaciated state. Over the years and due to countless battles with other male lions, the Notch Coalition lost members one by one. Their reign was not all rosy. Due to the incredibly huge territory that they controlled, it seemed they had spread themselves thin with Mighty Long vanishing in the Mara Triangle in 2010, probably killed by other male lions. By now, Notch was on his last legs. He was more than 14 years old when he died in 2013. A year and a half later, Grimace got lost during one of his excursions to find new females to take over. The remaining three Notch boys finally settled down in the Lookout Hill area, still being a formidable coalition of three big male lions. The final chapter of the Notch's reign started mid-2016, when Ron went missing and never showed up again, probably being killed by other male lions. A year later, Caesar developed a limp and lost condition, the reason turned out to be an abscess in his upper right hind leg. Vets treated him but two months later he was found being in a very bad state again hardly being able to move. He was last seen lying motionless on the banks of the Mara River close to Lookout Hill. It was not a fight with other lions, it was not a conflict with humans, Caesar died naturally. With the demise of Caesar, there is only one of the notches left, Notch 2. At an age of almost 13 years and being all by himself now, his days will be numbered as younger males already smell weakness. A single male lion is a formidable opponent, but when you have five more big and strong male lions who are expert buffalo and hippopotamus killers, then it's a recipe for chaos. It's not known how many lions they killed during their almost decade-long reign, but it's believed to be in the dozens. This incredible lion coalition was unlike any that had ever been seen before. Notch's legacy lives on through the descendants he left behind. Notch and his sons, notorious and captivating, played a critical role in drawing attention to the plight of African lions and the challenges they face. The era of the Notch coalition, with its absolute domination and tales of triumph and carnage, remains etched in the history of the Maasai Mara, offering a powerful reminder of the complex dynamics of the natural world. Music